G'day viewers, Train Simulator Driver. We're going to have a quick look at the London Under Overground, Gospel Oak, Barking Riverside, otherwise known as the Suffragette Line. Training modules wise, there's actually two. There's the Barking Riverside introduction, and if we go out and go back into Training Center, and go into training and there's the class 710 tfl you can also watch my video introducing how to drive the train should you wish all right let's go to the trains choose a train london overground gospel oak let's look at the scenarios first we have five football focus transport for london to put on a football tour service for football fans take a tour of the local football team stadiums learning a little along the way so basically explains you can do photo stops the Flood. A flood near Walthamstow has caused major disruptions on the line. This one's quite a bit of fun. The Halloween Goblin. I know it shows I haven't played these, but this is a new build, all right? The Halloween Goblin. It's spooky season. Ooh. Operate a late evening services while encountering a variety of scary sights. This is another one that's just a bit of fun. The Stock OC. A section of the line has been closed and the amount of congestion is growing. Stay vigilant to try and complete your service with no further delays. Remember, remember, it's the 5th of November and bonfire night festivities are commencing tonight. Expect heavy traffics and stay vigilant for any mischief. And fireworks. Service-wise, there's a few. So a few things do layer in here. I don't actually have everything loaded up, but just some examples of the, uh, the Jubilee... 37.5, I think the 40 does as well, and the class 66. There's a few freight services. It doesn't matter which one you pick, I don't believe. I think they all work. And so there's a bunch of freight services and a bunch of shunting things that you can play with, should you wish. Then there's the star of the show, which is the 710, which has a lot of playable services. I think I've heard them mention 100 and something. Um, they all run to about the 40 to 45 minute mark. And you're basically going up and down from Gospel Oak to Barking Riverside, and funnily enough, from Barking Riverside to Gospel Oak. All a bit of fun. There's a few variants, like Upper Holloway to Upper Holloway Reception. And for those who follow the uh, TFL Museum, you might know of City Holloway. But anyway... There you go. Shall we drive? I guess so. Why don't we have go to... Ooh, I don't know. We The tutorial started at uh, Barking Riverside, so let's start at Gospel Oak instead. And let's turn off dynamic weather. And pop on onto light clouds so it's pretty. And let's get in. So we'll go find some, go find some uh, collectibles. That's what I was trying to say. They're also known as root tasks, but let's go for a walk. The train's going to get mad at me, but that's okay. We're looking for a bunch of stuff. So first up, we can see there's a defibrillator lying on the ground there. So some unfortunate person's been zapped. So we'll just restock that. We can go and have a seat in the cafe over here with a few people drinking away. And what's this bloke doing? Yeah, looks like he's working on the game. Hacky hacky. Into the cafe itself. He hears sounds of grinding coffee and making coffee, but of course he just stands there. That's the way it is. What about our bars? What have we got? Track and rail. We've got uh, Quaker crackers. Level up, level down, posh chocolate. Ah, that's the way to go. That'd be the most expensive one, of course. The roast dinner chocolate bar. Hmm. Dovetail chocolate. That sounds unfortunate. The chocolate bar. The wonky donkey bar. The whatever chocolate bar. That's what you do when you run out of names. And the split bar. What about our drinks? Spaced. Or spaced. Spaced. There you go. Wildfire. Slime. Dove and a few others. Uh, it's a bit silly, but there you go. Yeah, it's another collectible there is the fire extinguishers. So we've done one of those. And of course, a route map. I've got quite an extensive network. 
the line we're on is the uh, goblin or the suffragette they need to get the updated version of this with the new covers just actually trying to find this line there it is there so we start at barking riverside no i don't want to give up the train thank you very much start at barking riverside wander around through here cross here we connect up with the other lines come around here come down here to gospel oak Now this platform over here has AI trains on it. You can't drive any trains over here. Looks like there's another collectible over there. Sometimes it's on top. There we go. Defibrillator. Now one thing that's a little bit hard to find is the goblins. They can be just a little bit of a challenge. I don't actually remember where the one is on this particular station. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take you to the one that I do know where it is. So let's go back to main menu and let's go to south tottenham on foot so to the trains train depot timetable uh, i didn't do that right choose a route barking riverside timetable on foot and i want to go to south toddy oh, let's go a bit earlier in the morning it's eight o'clock sounds good and let's just kill dynamic weather and we want to have it nice and clear, so light clouds. I usually leave dynamic weather on when I play, but uh, when I'm showing things off, I prefer just light clouds. Okay, now we've got to find the garden. I think it's on this side. There's the garden down there. So we've got to figure out how to get in there. One of these gates. It's not that one. I think it's down here somewhere. Uh, down here maybe oh we've got some new color bikes good to see this is the one let's open that up the collectibles are a little hard to find so there's little mounds here when you activate a mound you get a little giggling goblin pops up they are just a little bit hard to find they sound a little bit like a goat and there's a, quite a few of them around the network. Good luck finding them, I have to say to you, because they are quite tough to find. There's another defibrillator. I think that's it. Defibrillators, route maps, fire extinguishers, and the goblin. I'm pretty sure that's it. Let's say get used to it. Get used to split. Okay. Have your ticket ready for inspection. Hopefully a train comes here soon and we can go for a drive. Or why don't we just go back to the other station and go for a drive? So 8.13 and... Hmm... 801. That's rather a while. What about this side? 807. That's also rather a while. I don't think we'll hang around here for six minutes for a train, do you? I don't think we'll do that. I think we might just jump out and uh, go and drive a train. What do you reckon? What do you think, bald man wearing earbuds? How is it today? You might want to think about wearing a hat. It's a little bit sunny. You might get a bit of a burnt nude nut. Blokes here's got a cup of coffee. Hmm. All right. A lot of people with earbuds. You can thank the new character developer, Ollie. Here is uh, Harry Potterus. With the Harry Potter glasses. Lots of people have them now. Another one with earbuds. Ooh, just got a route map. Hi, how you doing? Ready to ride the train? Can have a big busy day in the city? Not talkative? No? Really are. All right, let's go and drive a train. We need to drive a train. Back to the main menu. And funnily enough, we're going to go back to Gospel Oak again. We go to Gospel Oak. Mm. Bucking Riverside timetable. Class 710. 
and we started it barking in the tutorial so yeah let's run one from gospel hook let's go early in the morning let's go a bit earlier in the morning there we go 722 this is a nice one to start with and we want light clouds and we want oops should have done that the other way around i often fall for that trap and here we go now this is a early access version of this we have got a red signal in front of us it's gone green otherwise i would have pressed the dra let's get this thing set up shall we so first in master key Put it into oops actually you want to put it into secure power on for the ac system pantograph up and get our doors open over here i like to turn on the uh, safety system so let's get the panel open turn on vigilance control and tpws aws come down here and acknowledge that you can see our sunflower has lit up our GSMR has popped up and it's got the service we're running automatically. Contact signal are over here. All right, loading passengers. And you can hear there's another one. Let me just pop my camera out. You can only have AI trains over here because you can't drive on this part of the route, but you can hop in a train and ride until you hit the portal and then it throws you out. All right, that's it for our setup done. Emergency stop is off. The DRA is off. Did we check our headlights? Headlights are on day. Tail lights are on auto. That's all very good. Okay. Now, in this train, the doors do close and lock by themselves. Prototypically, they would only close. It's a limitation in the game so that they have to lock. You'll notice on my track monitor on the top right-hand side, I do not have the signal aspects turned on. That's quite deliberate because I like to experience the signals when I see them when I'm driving. Ah, oh, waiting to you, 724. There we go. Our doors have locked themselves. Bit of horny action. And you know what I haven't do? Let's just pop that back to B3, because what I didn't do was put my reverser into forwards. All right, now we can do some power. And we can't go very fast because we're only allowed to do 15. You see on this display down here, it's now showing we have some power. There's the vigilance, I'll acknowledge that. It's the Q key on keyboard, alert button on the rail driver, circle or B on your controller, depending on your flavor. So we cruise out of Gospel Oak on our way to Upper Holloway. Power back to coasting now. Going a bit quick, I'm being naughty. train is waiting to go into the platform that we have just left. You will find yourself stopped there as well on many services. Says he being naughty again. Let's get our windows open. I find the trains sound more satisfying with the windows open. At the next station, we'll go and have a look inside the carriages. thing does have the stopping power of a slimy potato so uh break early break often it's actually quite hard to maintain timetable on this thing to be honest
because there are quite a lot of low speed sections and you do need to brake a bit early for your stations. I'm sure as I gain experience with the train that will change. You'll notice there's lots of little stub sidings and things all over the place and the platforms seem quite short. That's because this was originally a traditional passenger service line with long trains and now it's got these little short stubby things on it. All right, we have arrived at Upper Holloway. And we can stop. If you're not using the coloured marks on the ground, you should align your stopping point with these signs. So this is the Class 710 car stop, and your front of your cab should be aligned with this, just like mine is not. All right, let's have a look inside the carriages. So it's transverse seating with everybody facing each other. It's that uncomfortable don't stare at any one thing. The uh, London Overground is not like the New York subway though. You're not likely to encounter any crazy people who are either trying to sell you something or kill you. It's more friendly than that. So as you wander through the train, you can see it's all quite similar all the way through. So you can... The doors do close themselves. And lock. So we should probably leave. Ooh, we better fix this defibrillator before we go. We'll hop back in. Tell you a little story from the uh, early days of this train, when we had it in beta. The uh, driver's door used to close too, when it was time for the train to go. All right, off we go. 55 miles an hour. Crouch Hill Platform 2 is next. The train does not have announcements. Of course, you can do that yourself if you wish to. You can just talk. We will see a few hitches as I drive. This is an early release version, and I haven't actually run this build before. This is a fresh one. We've got a 30 mile zone coming up. Oh, I should pay more attention. We're going too fast. All right. Recovered that. Just in time for it to speed up again, probably. We've got our next station of Crouch Hill coming up. So, of course, we have to... I suppose that's more of a duck, isn't it? What do you think, cat? Yeah, it's a duck. <laughs> yeah, righty. Crouch Hill, folks. The doors will open on the left. Lady, you're going to walk over some big triangle things. Don't do it. Stoppy, stoppy. Let's get up and go outside again. We'll land on the crunchy triangle things, which stop us going out there, which is unfortunate. Ah, there's the new backpack. Good to see. We're lined up a little better this time. Not as good as it could be, but a little better. The goblins are all over the place on the route, and they are actually quite challenging to find. The doors stay open on a timer, so if you want to leave earlier than that, you can just manually close the doors yourself, like I just did. Coming up on Herringray Green Lanes next. Motors do have a quite a satisfying growl, says he, going way too quickly. Slippery leaf zone. That's what that little sign on the left was with a leaf on it. Saying, slow down you clown driver, this track is slippery.
looking at the uh, route map, we do cross a lot of other lines. You see quite a lot of AI traffic on those lines if you have the relevant DLC for those lines. If you don't, then you won't. There's even some rail fanning spots. I'll leave you to find those on your own. But there's a, a few spots along the line that there's a bench provided for you and you can go and sit on it. Coming into Haringey Green Lanes. Amazingly, we're on time. All right, let's stop that there. Good enough. Doors open. There's a fire extinguisher collectible there. It's a good spot to sit. Going too fast, but it sounded all right, didn't it? The little um, silent pauses you're hearing every now and again has started just after last night's Windows update. It's not the game. Clearly some drivers updated itself that probably shouldn't have because it's probably not as well thought out as probably it could be. How unusual that Windows breaks something. Thank you, Microsoft. We love you. Replacing our company-specific drivers with your own crappy generic ones. So I will figure out what changed, and I will get rid of it and put a proper company driver back on. Coming into South Tottenham, which is where we were before when I showed you the Goblin collectible. Now the other ones you re really need to watch out along the sides of the line, and they're usually near to stations, but not in them. There's a couple that are spaced between the stations. I have found them all during beta. Since they it wasn't easy. Twenty mile an hour zone coming up into this station. Passengers, South Tottenham, the doors will open on the left. Stations are all modelled specifically for this line, and checking out photos on Google Maps, they are quite accurate.
It's supposed to wait until 7.37 and 20, so we have a little while here. If we pop out to the pause map for a moment, we can see our line. It's 13 miles long, there are 13 stations. So it's uh, quite a short route, but it still takes 45 minutes to get through it. Let's just lock the passengers out and get ready to go. We'll be taking the left-hand path as soon as we're allowed to. Right about now. If we go to Black Horse Road. There's nothing really stopping you leaving early, but if you do, you may encounter some... Uh, Interesting things happening to you. Oops, too fast. Forgot we're in a 20 zone. You may encounter some interesting things with signalling. There are AI trains that take the other path, but all of the trains that you drive will go this way. It's not a high speed route and it does accelerate fairly quickly as you saw. leave this rolling because I want to pop out because this is a nice old pumping station looks like it's been turned into a bit of a cafe knowing the UK it's turned into a operating museum because those sorts of things are everywhere in the UK something I am quite looking forward to on my upcoming trip let's go and watch our train from over here why not We are picking up speed. Our train will appear. There it is. So the scenery on the route is excellent. I think it's one of the good ones. Should probably put that into uh, B1. Probably put it in B3, in fact. This feels like a Nebworth to me. At the doors open and I spotted something here that I want to go and look at so we'll go through here because we're not quite in the platform not quite ah enough let's go over here and is it here I think it's here yes into the lift and there we go and we've got a uh ramp for people to go out but just because we can let's go over the other side out of the way out of the way get out of the way get out of the way get out of the way, out of the way. Get out of the way. i want to use the lift doors open. Lift going down. that's my train over there i can hear its doors closing doors open. behind me aha race down here and hope I don't get run over. Alright. 
Off we go. To Walthamstow, Queen's Road. We've done a, a bunch of stations. We have a bunch to go. About halfway. There are a few assets that we've seen before, like those houses up there, but for the most part, it's new stuff, which is uh, great to see. Lots of new assets. The lighting on the route is decent. We'll have a look at night time as well. But we're going to run this to the full end of this thing today. is one of the platforms that was shortened by Transport for London when they reinvigorated this line. So if we hop out here, you can wander around on them. Some of them have gates where you can get in and out. Not all of them do. The fact that you can get out here probably suggests that somewhere around here, there might be a goblin. Because that's generally the clue that you can actually find them, is that you can get out. I don't see him anywhere, but the fact that I can get up here would suggest that there probably is one around here somewhere, because normally you can't get into places like this. I don't see one, though. Let's have another quick look. Often you don't find them till you've stepped on them. And they go, <laughs> I don't find it, but I'm pretty sure there is one there somewhere, hiding in the bushes. So, uh, good luck finding it. I think this route's going to be a bit of a challenge for the uh, route collectible people. You might go and have a look at uh, Neil TV, because he usually puts up a video of where all the collectibles are. One of his massive passions in this game is to go and find all the collectibles and show you to help you find them. Nice little tableau of working people over there. It's used in one of the scenarios, that one. I would love it if the uh, HUD elements at the top were movable because I'd love to have them at the bottom of the screen. Because I'm not looking up in the sky, I'm looking at the track. I'd find it very helpful if I could move those. the yellow line you lot alrighty late in Midland Road doors will open on the left and why don't we go for a little wander here as well because we can 
I see a fire extinguisher. Blank. Man with a suitcase. Anything in here? No. Closed circuit television is spying on you. For your personal safety and security. Ba -ba. Hey, there's another one. Huh? Time to go by the sounds of it. One thing I haven't tried is can you drive with this door open? Let's give it a crack. Let's try. Ah, uh, no, you can't. See, it's got the uh, red marker on the uh, display there right next to EB. So we'll have to close the door, and that will go out. Yep, now we can drive. Yeah, right. That would have been fun. What happens if you do it now? You know? Might break the train. Hey, you can lock the door. It unlocks when you touch it. Oh dear. I better do something bad then. Let's just use the usual reset procedure. B3 till we stop. And then start driving. And away we go. Whenever you get into trouble on this train, put it in B3. Wait till you stop. More often than not, you can go again. There is a goblin around here somewhere on the side of the track. Just saying. Have fun finding it. There's one that's actually in someone's yard. You have to walk down from the track to uh, get into the yard area. Another 710 coming the other way. You will see some freight. Occasionally. Doors open, and over here, there's another asset unique to the route. Pretty cool. What are our billboards? Messages. Can you press play? Oh, what a missed opportunity. Leightonstone High Road. These were probably holes in a viaduct at some point. Hmm. Bit of graffiti over there. Let's get the flock. And away we go. Full beans. Got the big sack of beans. Chucked it out the window. Speaking of windows, did I open them? I did. Wanstead Park. Naughty again, driver. Oh. 
40 coming up right after Wanstead Park. It's good to see mobile phone antennas and things like that appearing in the game. Yeah, Wanstead Park. Doors will open on the left. These little signs up here mean restricted clearance. And it basically means that if you stand there, the train will squash you. It's just a warning to people who are working along the line. swoop down on you you mustang in london you what else do you get for christmas you're a bit horny there mate Got trampolines boing boing yes i do get silly sometimes All right. Woodgrange Park, next stop. Bing. Crossing another opportunity to see trains on the opposing lines, but none today. This signal up here is not for us, it's for the other line. You will occasionally get stopped back there when a train from the other line is going to come out in front of you. Welcome to Woodgrange Park. Let's quickly jump out here and have a look at Woodgrange Park. Out of the way. Get out of the way. Go this way. Oh, looking for a mound. Hmm, I don't see one. It's a bit disconcerting as your passengers pop in as you run through the train. All right, let's get that door closed and drive. Let's go. Off we go to.
Sitting back there. My cat said. Can't jump up and go and visit the passengers because I've got DSD turned on. Bing. It's quite a long way to bing. Shouldn't do that, I'll get a sore throat. Quite often see AI trains at this point, but not today. That's life. I wonder if barking is one of those places people get together and do things to each other. Oh wait, that's dogging, isn't it? That's different. Barking, ladies and gentlemen. The platforms will open on the right. I should say the doors will open on the right. The platform won't open at all. If the platform opens, you'll probably fall out of the world. to stop. Oh, I think we should have a quick look around Barking, don't you? Such a big station. Wait, it's got pushed into the train. Yeah, we'll get out of your way. Go up here. Exit only. That's the right way to go. Did you just come out of a vending machine? Can we go outside? No, of course not. Mind the gap between the train and the platform. Mind the gap. Ooh, a working lifty. With lights even. And going down. It's something about the goblin suffragettes. Welcome to Barking. The lighting's a little bit weird at Barking. Alright. Let's get out of here and go to Barking Riverside, the end of the line. Full of bananas. Passengers, strap yourselves in. Prepare for light speed. No AI trains here today. Very sad.
Now, if you try and do a speed run on this route, and I have, you do get ahead of the signalling, and you're going to want to watch yourself a little bit. Otherwise, Spadorama. And as the song says, Spad, 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 Spad. Everybody loves Spad. Bonk. Should have explained what I was doing back there when we heard the uh, noise go off. I was acknowledging the signal, which has a divert. Quite a few people council working over there. Or council not working, as the case may be. Going up. funny how this is the tightest corner on the line but you can do 40 mile an hour in it it's probably because it's got a proper cant unlike the uh, older sections of track this is a new section that was uh, built fairly recently it was actually built after they started developing the route so they added it in Wrong button. Tell it to get everything. Damn it. Okay. Well, now you know what happens when it stops your train. Let's just open the doors. It did, didn't it? Well, that's interesting. We're not in a station. All right. We should be allowed to drive. I didn't acknowledge AWS fast enough because... Oops. I'm there. Did my random button pressing put us in reverse? I <laughs> guess it did. Okay. Let's go. Oh, I know why. When I went for the acknowledge button, I have a thing called Box, okay? This is Box. Box has uh, buttons for various things like opening and closing doors, acknowledging alerts, and PZB and stuff like that. And the button in the middle is a macro button that's currently set up for a different game. And it's got a key combination that would have made it go into reverse, so I uh, whacked the wrong button on box. I have box so I can beat the crap out of buttons, because they're proper arcade buttons. And I can whack them to my heart's content and they won't hurt anything. Alright, welcome to the end of the line. There you go. Passengers. Let's shut this train down. That'd be a good idea, wouldn't it? We should do that. And so we go into B3. Go into Secure. Panto down. Lights to marker lights only. You can leave the tail lights on auto. Reverse it to shutdown. And master key out. That's it. Train shut down. 
Oh, I didn't unlock the doors, did I? Oh, well, we'll run along and let all the cretins out. Alrighty, folks, you don't have to go home, but you can't stay here, so get off me train. Go on, go away. <laughs> Look at all that speeding. How naughty. Alrighty. Mine is 1267.5 for speeding. Oh, naughty, lonely, mm, silver. That's okay. Well, that's it, folks. Hope you enjoyed the Goblin Suffragette. So that's our first look at this thing. And right about the same time this goes out, I'll be streaming it live. So flip over to that if you want to, and we'll have some fun. Alrighty, see you later. Bye. We played a game.